27 miles south of the Honda Center, home of the Anaheim Ducks, is a historic landmark, church, and place of social gathering. It is the mission at San Juan Capistrano. The mission, founded on November 1st, 1776, by Saint Junipero Sierra, a 246 years old mission known as the Jewel of California, was a series of missions all across the state of California by Junipero Sierra, who contributed to the growth of California, but also a polarizing figure among locals. The mission served as a museum of Native American culture, such as the Etchemin Indians, who have a ton of artifacts of cultural significance and importance. But it has also served as a place of historical importance, giving all peoples, tourists, locals, including myself, an insight and a glimpse at the past of the mission and of Orange County, California itself, before Orange County became a county and before California became a state and part of the United States of America. Arriving there, I was blown away and amazed by the architecture, the preservation of quarters of the Padres, indigenous Indian artifacts, as well as other notable exhibits. To me, as someone who became curious about the history of Orange County, California, I was intrigued, curious, impressed, you can say very open-minded to not just the mission, but also the legend surrounding the mission at San Juan Capistrano from the bell ring, ringing traditions to the legends of the swallows. Now the swallows is a type of bird that uh, is native to San Juan Capistrano with Orange County, California itself. The legend goes is that the swallows would return on March 19th, St. Joseph's Day. On that day, it is said that a Franciscan father, local, and who inhabited the mission, was basically invited the swallows to live and set up home at the mission. The story goes like this. One day, several years ago, I was passing the new hotel at the west side of the town plaza. There were their proprietors out with long poles smashing the swallow's nest that were under the eaves. The poor birds were in terrible panic, darting hither, thither, flying and screaming about their demolished homes. What in the world are you doing? I asked. Why, said he, these dirty birds are a nuisance, and I'm getting rid of them. But where can they go? I continued. I don't know. I don't care, he replied, slashing away with his pole. But there are no business here destroying my property. Then come on, swallows, I cried. I'll give you shelter. Come to the mission. There's room enough there for all. This is from basically a local legend said to why the swallows set up nesting on the, the areas, on one of the buildings of the mission. I guess we have a lot of interesting places to be. The mission at San Juan Capistrano, from my perspective, from someone from the north, is truly an eye-opening, but opened my eyes to the history of California, the history of Orange County, California. 
and also learning about the Yachaman, indigenous Indians, and St. Unipir Sierra. I'm not going to get into the life of Unipir or Sierra, doing no small part to the fact that he is a polarizing figure. I can tell you this, that I may be covering Sierra maybe sometime in the near future, but who knows. But personally, in my point of view, in my observation, the mission is one of the good historical places. No. Great places for any history buff to want to learn more about the mission at San Juan Capistrano, but also the history of Southern California, Orange County, and Spanish colonial history. The mission serves as a place of worship, a place of history, and a place of social gathering. It is something to cherish, and I believe locals there who live in this nice community that I've been to, that I've seen, truly appreciate having that historical place be there. I also want to say that learning about the legends of the swallows that reside at the mission. I also learned about folklore and some interesting ghost stories. I'm not going to get into that, but if I do, and when I have a chance to go back to Orange County, California, I will make a video there of myself detailing and discussing about the mission, how it is a place of faith, and also a place of historical importance. That is my Canadian perspective.